Day 11. Day 11. Holy shit, we made it! Day 11, and uh, no cigarettes. Hmm, no cigarettes. It's fucking beautiful outside. Holy shit, look at that. Watch out, trucker. Look at that. People are confusing me. Anyway. Day 11. Oh my god, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Holy shit. Day 11. I'm on the way to the doctor's office. I gotta go to the doctor. I quit smoking. I quit smoking. I quit drinking energy drinks. And now I'm having sweaty sweats and shit fuck I'm having sweats at night I'm sleeping like an hour and a half and it feels like I'm sleeping like fucking 10 hours it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy Tell you what, get me some water. I gotta go to this Docker's appointment. So my little girl says, Docker. I gotta go to a Docker. Get a sucker. I'm not getting a sucker. Sucker's bad for you. Break your teeth. I hope I get a sticker though. It says, Good job. Yep, yeah, what? Anyways, going to the doctor today because I can't sleep. And when I do sleep, I know it sounds crazy. When I do sleep, I sleep like two hours at a time and it feels like I slept like eight hours. Turn the AC on in this deal. Good lord. Holy crap. You know what? I don't even know, man. Hold on. They all shook up today. Jesus Christ, is the eclipse still going on? Where's my glasses? Hey, right, where's my eclipse glasses? Oh God, there's a red light. Ah, sorry officer, I was wearing my eclipse glasses. I didn't want to be blind. Okay, anyways. I gotta go to the doctor, because I'm sleeping at night, but I'm not sleeping at night. But one would generally say, hey, that's a good amount of sleep. Four hours. That's what I usually sleep. Um, four hours isn't enough. Because I wake up sweating. And I sweat when I get out of the shower. After a run. So I'll go run like three miles. Get in the shower. Cut myself in babe powder. And as I'm covering myself in babe powder, I turn into like... Uh, cake batter. So I'm baking cakes in the bathroom because I'm fucking sweating. Holy shit. It's gross. Disgusting. I can't do it anymore. Anyways, I'm turning the AC off. It's too nice. Way too nice. It is fucking gorgeous. Holy shit. All these windows down. Good lord. Oh my god. Huh. I'm on planet Earth, people. I'm alive. Look at you guys. You guys are alive too. Wow. They're alive too. I can't believe it. I'm not the only one. Look at that. They're alive too. Hey. Oh shit. Don't drop the camera out the window. Anyways. I guess my body's going into like detox. Or whatever. I'm not scientific on that stuff, but I do know that uh, 
there's uh, like your body's like pushing this shit out okay i've been drinking red bulls and five hours and Everybody just looks perky. I want to head over to Main Street Pizza and get me some pizza today. Got to stay hydrated. <clears throat> it's cooler temperatures at night when I walk and run. Get to my throats. I'm not a scientist or a nurse. I know it hurts. Oh yeah, I'm going to the doctor today. I'm going to ask him about that. Jesus Christ, they're going to have a running list. Like a piece of toilet paper stuck to your foot when you come out of the Walmart bathroom. This one's going to look like when I go into the doctor today. They're going to say, man, you got all kinds of shit wrong with you. I'm going to say, yeah, that's why I'm here. They're like, whoa, hold up. We're just the clinic. You need to come in here only when your hair hurts when you need to get off of work not when something's wrong with you listen here lady I don't have a lot of money I'm trying to go to the beach for Christmas where's my copay fix me doctor tell me what's wrong somebody told me today that they've been smoking all their life and then their lungs look like the same age, height, dimensions, whatever the fuck. Same lungs as someone their age and gender that doesn't smoke. I'm like, what the fuck ever? Really? You're a smoker and your shit is no fucking way. Bullshit. So you're telling me that doctors all over the fucking world are telling people you need to quit smoking because it's bad for you and then you got the one fucking doctor that says god damn it you're fucking healthy keep on smoking really oh you just don't want to quit smoking do you because it's not the right fucking time for you well you know what who gives a shit what I feel when you die I can't say you're going to die from lung cancer I'll tell you what you're not going to live longer there's one thing in this fucking world nobody has 
give a fuck that I give a fuck. So here I am giving a fuck and they could care less. Please quit smoking so you can live longer, so we can go kayaking, so we can go mountain hiking, so we can go running under the tunnels of a fucking road chasing an RC truck. Because you flipped it over, you got too ambitious at the park with your little kid. Let's go on a nature walk. Let's go do something healthy, uh, adventurous, bright, beautiful, sunny, green, blue, yellow. Let's do it because you don't smoke anymore. I don't want you to die, man. I want you to live. Department of Conservation. You know what's next? Hold up. I'll show you. Missouri Department of Conservation. You know what's next? A fucking cemetery. God damn it. Look at that shit. Really? A fucking cemetery. Conserve and die. Huh. Hmm. Who would have thought? Well, let's think about it, people. I gotta go into this doctor so I can live longer and find out what the fuck is going on with me. Because I give a shit and I want to be around. Oh, wrong guess. Hold on. Next one. Anyways. <sighs> It's just, I, I can't wrap my mind around why people don't care that other people care about them. I don't fucking get it. I just don't get it. When somebody, somebody told me years and years and years ago, be careful. I'm like, whatever. I thought about it and I said, even know you said it. You might be watching this right now. You don't even know you said it. That was about, let's see, 2007, about 10 years ago. Here we are, doctor's office. Find out what the fuck is wrong with me. We're going to continue this later. Guess what? I'm healthy. Happy. Is there anything else? Thirsty. Yes. I don't know how long I've been in that fucking doctor's office. I'll tell you one thing. I'm alive. I'm kicking. There was a little boy in there. He was so cute. He had the most... something cry. I don't know what it was. He was short. Little bitty thing. He was like a little doll. He was short and standing there. And I don't know what the deal was with his family, but he looked like he was adopted and he looked cute and I wanted to put him in my pocket and take him home and give him a good life. I swear to God, these community health centers, they can be like oasises. I really hope people get the care for the things that they need. I went in there and I told them, I said, quit smoking, quit doing the energy drinks. They're like, well, we can give you Wellbutrin and we can give you Spiritol. And I'm just like, no, I don't want medication. I just want to know, is this normal? Is this what happens when you don't smoke? This is what happens when you don't drink energy drinks anymore? Just go cold turkey? Why do we even say cold turkey anyways? Cold turkey. That poor turkey. He needs a blanket. Get that 
turkey blanket. Somebody, somebody get me a turkey blanket. Anyways, the doctor, bless her heart, she said, you're just gonna have to sweat it out. I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'll sweat it out. That's fine with me. At least I'm alive, you know what I mean? I think a lucky solar eclipse is glasses. Sorry, officer. Staring at the moon! Hold on, I got going here. Give me a juice. Why is he driving like a maniac? Because he's alive. Why doesn't he just drive normal? Well, how do normal people drive? How do they drive? Look at this shit. You like that? Mmm. A bubbly probiotic tea. California grape. Health aid kombucha. Handcrafted in small batches using only the freshest organic raw ingredients flavored with cold pressed juice from organic produce fermented 100% in glass and packaged in UV protective amber bottles. It's simply the best tasting and highest quality kombucha you can buy. Our organic and raw California grape kombucha is nature's perfect mix of tart, soft, and sweet. This shit is good. Bought it high V. I like it because it takes my tummy, it takes my tummy, and it tells it what to do. It tells my tummy what to do. It says, hey tummy, you're not looking like yourself right now. Come here, fix you up. What do you do? Look at this. Got some blood work done today. Got a smiley face. Nurse didn't have a, a generic fucking band-aid there's a drew on it cool anyways that kombucha is good I am going to try to catch me a BB mmm I don't know what we're talking about today I do know that uh, it is fucking beautiful out today I am just so grateful to be alive. Doctors told me, they said, uh, they said, you're just having withdrawals from nicotine and um, energy drinks. That's it. You're just gonna have to sweat it out, man. So, that's what I'm gonna do. They tried to put me on like anti-anxiety and antidepressants, to try to calm the nerves or something. I don't know why they wanted me to take that shit. I just trying to push that shit on me. I didn't want it. So I'm just like, fuck it. Let's do some blood work. See if anything else is wrong. Nothing else is wrong. I'll just sweat it out. smoking cigarettes 20 fucking years ago man I was 10 years old I started smoking cigarettes 20 fucking years ago I look back on 20 fucking years holy shit can I get those 20 years back I hope I wish I don't know if I I'm just saying life's really hitting me right now and I don't want to let go like, I'm trying to kick everything that's going to kill me. I am. And I am trying so hard. So, I just want to spread love, you know? 
I just want to give people good vibes. I just want to see them smile. I want to see them happy. I want to see our children raised in a world where it's bright and beautiful like this every day. Where nobody's hurting. Where somebody cut you off in traffic like this jerk did, this Ford F-150, the Honda dealer. Who cares, man? Whatever. Enjoy your day, man. I'm gonna enjoy this. I just want us to live. I want us to be free. I want us to live together and have amazing lives where we don't blame our problems on the next person. We don't have problems. We just coexist. We love each other. We love the world. We want to give back. We love our children. We want to grow. We want to learn. We want to find out why the hell we're here. That's what I want. Today's a different day for me. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I love life, honestly. I posted a picture on my Facebook, black and white, that is the most favorite picture of mine. I think it embodies everything that I am right now. I'm not going to go into detail. I love that picture because it says I'm alive and happy. And that's what I want for everyone. I miss the people who have died. I miss my friends. I miss the relationships, the laughs. creative minds I miss what could have been so I'm going to take my life I'm going to live it that's all I want to do I just want to live I want to bless not in a religious way, I just want to make people happy. Make them smile. Make them laugh. Make them giggle. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to take those four pennies at the gas station if I need them, but I guarantee you I'll get them back somewhere along the line. I'm just saying. Still human. I need money too, man. Shit. No, but bro. I saw a guy Walmart. The one nobody really wants to go to, but they will if they have to. And, uh, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. He was just fucking rolling there. Like, I didn't see him until I went through the light and, like, went up the fucking road. What are you doing, man? Holy shit. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, we're gonna go check on him right now. That's what we're gonna do. Fuck it. We'll be late for our meeting. Let's go see what the fuck he's doing. For real. Yeah, we're gonna go see what the fuck he's doing. Maybe he's thirsty. Maybe he wants a Gatorade. I don't know. I don't have any diseases. Hmm, shit. I'll walk him into Walmart and I'll give that son of a bitch fucking give him some Gatorade or something, man. I need some hydration. Do this. Oh, I'm pumped now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, light. Let's do it. Can I take this off? Thank you. Ugh. Wish I could listen to music right now, but YouTube has a copyright thing and they say they'll take money for it. Whatever. We're gonna go check on this motherfucker. I'm gonna see where the fuck he's at. Ha! We're doing it! We're 
We're living. We're living. We're living. This shit's good. Me and my little girl. Been eating grapes like crazy. These are green grapes. Woo! They're green. Taste green. The cart. Good though. Wake you up. Let's go see what this son bitch is doing. Son bitch, I I mean that. That's the term deer man. Let's see what he's doing. There's traffic. I am not wearing my seatbelt. Sorry, I'm rambling, guys. I am uh, a little excited. What is this guy doing? Hope he don't hit me or anything. I got myself a stick. I just throw it at him or something. I don't want to throw it at him. It's a good self stick. Look at that. Clicks. Well, that's like a police baton. What is that? Oh shit. Put that up. That's a weapon. No, it ain't. That's a fucking weapon. Move go slugger, motherfucker. Fuck me. Might not be able to carry a gun. I'll beat the shit out of you. I'm trying to rob my shit, motherfucker. Anyways, we're not going down the road right now. We're gonna see what this guy's doing. Boy, if uh, he was dying right now, he might be dead. Fucking traffic lights. Jesus Christ, I could have walked there faster. Could have ran there. Shit. Go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Driving up here. Nice out. In it? This is Jeff City. Jeff City. My city. Not really. It's their city. It's everybody's city. Oh shit. Pay attention, people. Buckle up. See this? What's this guy doing? I think I see him! We're gonna find out what the fuck's going on here. Cell phone. How you doing, man? Right. Hey, there was a guy here this morning. Yeah. Guy here this morning. Real dark tan. He was just over here, over there. Over he was. The parking lot over there. He was laying right here. I drove through here. I didn't see him until I went through here. I just wanted to check on him, see if he's all right. Um. I mean, he was doing okay earlier. I don't know. I mean, he's just back and forth. He had his lady here with him earlier, and I mean, a, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I don't know where she went, so I don't know if he's having a hard time with that. Or... Well, he was here this morning, and he was rolling around. It was like he was uh, uh, sleeping or something. Yeah, he might have been laying here. Huh? He might have been just laying here, but uh, he had been drinking too. Yeah, drinking. 
What's that? Up? Where are you? Where are you staying? Me? I, I'm uh, actually starting. Can I get off here? I'll talk to you in a bit. All right. Bye. As a friend of mine, she loaned me this phone because my phone broke and got wet. Yeah. But, um, um, I just got done talking to a path place case case worker of mine yeah. earlier, and I've been what I've been doing is trying to stay back and everything, and to get into a place and they find a place that would take me and I can finally get into. So maybe by the first or third of the month, I might actually have a place. Place to live? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, you know where uh uh. Mississippi River is down below St. Louis yep. on the East Edwin State. That's yep. where I come from. Originally. So, what brought you here? I came here about three years ago. Uh, I ended up uh, uh, breaking up with my wife, my ex wife, and then I was wanting to get out of the area and I came here. I had, had a place and I lost it. But um, I'm not trying to get back into the place now. So. Yeah. You ain't got a job, do you? No, actually, she's gonna try to help me uh, get some of that going too. Yeah. I'm working on that. No, I'm Where'd you work before? Me? Uh, I worked on the barges. Barges? Yeah. So you do some hard work, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not afraid of no hard work. Yeah. I've had, I've met a couple of different signs saying it will work, you know, and I mean, odd jobs and everything. Hoping somebody can you know, take me and put me to work, you know. Yeah, I work in a nursing home. We cook. I cook a lot of food. We cook for all the elderly people. We try to spice it up and give them something nice to eat. Cause some people really yeah. just don't care. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. And uh. Huh. So you're going through pathways? Yeah. They're trying to help me out and get me on my feet. I've been uh, out here trying to do the best I can to try to uh, like I said, save money back and everything. It's a, uh, I can't keep money out here on the street because if I do, someone's liable to come up and take it from me. Yeah. I mean, I've had in a tent I stay in occasionally. Um, come people just walk around the tent at night and stuff and mess with me. So, I mean, yeah. I have to have someone like half a place or something to hold on to stuff like that. So I. I don't go robbed. That's all you need is a job, huh? You get a job, you can get on your feet quick. Hmm. I can't take it home. Well, that's all right. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get by until I can get to that point. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Yeah? Yes, I am. Well, how much does it cost here? 1069, I think. I think it's past lunch. You want some dinner? That's partially what I was trying to do. We can have enough to finish to uh, go eat supper. I'll make a deal. When you see somebody that needs help, even if you can, help them out. I do anyway. Deal? I, yes, sir, I we want to make this earth a better place to live. I agree. I mean, I, I'm out here on the street, and if there's somebody out here that's having a harder off than I am, if I got a few bucks, I, I, try, I try to give it to them. I try to I'll tell you what. Not for a camera. We're, we're trying to change the world. Trying to change the world, man. Thirteen bucks to get you some dinner, huh? Yeah? God bless. Yep. Okay. You too, man. Remember, pay it forward. Okay? Yeah. Pay it forward. Alright, man. You have a good day. You too. Go eat. Thank you. Get full. That's all I was wanting to do is get enough to go eat. You're good, man. Go eat. <laughs>